Slow and steady, right out of the gates. They're not in a rush for this one. They're going to take their time here. Nothing crazy from either team. They feel each other out in the early stages of this one. P250 in the hands of Twists. Utah lined up. Smoke at the ready. Carrigan will lob the first out. Heaven smoke deployed. That's to force Ooh. the rotation. Nobody home. Heroic. They are masters of deception themselves, but Carrigan trying to beat them at their own game. Is it Tess To be tested. Looking for the first blood of the playoffs, baby. It all hangs in the balance. Momentum up for debate. Who will get that strong start? It's going to be a top go here. Brokey's got a smoke and a molly for this second wave. Oh, changing the tune right now. Dipping over towards ramp. Won't be the top player at all. Tessus has repositioned here. They're all coming. Tessus, can he track him? Rops, he's slimy. Hard to get a hold of. And the door slams closed. Information now flowing as they descend the ramp. And that's the first contact. Shush, hanging on by a thread. Tessus low as well. It's shaping up nicely for FaZe here. Yeah, should be to get the plant. There's already a lot of bodies rotating down here. Heroic want to fight. Door's going to swing oh, open. Oh. They're trying to deny the bomb. They can't. Kadian takes him down. Four on four, though. It's still awkward. Messi, Tessus, and Stown. They resuscitate hope for Heroic. They need to close the doors. They need to get that bomb down. 20 seconds and counting. Another door. And they opt for a fake. 15 seconds. Got to get it down. They're going to stick it now, but look at the HP here. Stown and Tessus so low. It could be Yabby, you know. He's healthy, but Twist, the sharpshooter. Going to be looking to hold on. P250 versus the USP. That time now ticks in favor of FaZe Clan. And still look at the hesitance. No one wants to fall. And it's Twist that takes two by force. Brokey puts the cherry on top, and that's the start. FaZe were looking for. They pinned towards the window side. Couldn't get anything done. Carrigan down the vet late, takes out Shush, and look at this, the in-game leader really causing a ruckus. Allowing his boys to get that bomb down, and FaZe, on their map choice, will pick up pistol number one. Now, of course, Heroic going to get in with a bit of buy of their own. Look your eyes on this, it's Katie and Scout wanting to find some tags. They're going to start with three players over towards main here. Aggressive towards Yard, looking to fight. Rain's going to be under pressure. A lot of pressure, he's even caught bullets. Fortunately, he had a helmet, he lives on. And Brokey looking to catch him. Pesky on the MP9, but two fall in unison. And Kadian added to the pack, added to the tally. A dream start for this Galil buy out of phase. So a couple of 5.7s here, and well, Tassus is Deagle as well, starting to push ramp. Needs to find something. No damage on a force by second round. This will feel pretty flat for Heroic. He's even holding for this. That's uh, diligent stuff from Twist. They've done the dirty work. Now, ooh, Tessus, he does bait the shot, but falls all the same. He'd love to get something here if you were sure. This one has been over in the blink of an eye. Short damage again. Yeah, look what Garrigan is as well. That's dreamy. Bit of a discussion to be had about Nuke. You, you talk about that liquid series as Robs will find him. And you see this team, Heroic, pick Mirage. And then the question is after, hey, maybe maybe should you have gone with Nuke as a bit of a punish here against Liquid? And uh, the question is, Heroic are yet to play Nuke uh, at this event. So do FaZe think it's a weakness because they didn't pick it against Liquid? What does right. that mean? Right? Is this something where FaZe feel like they can punish? Are they trying to return their crown jewel when FaZe are one of the best teams in the world? Nuke and Inferno, just like many others that have come before them, Na'Vi, Astralis, right? Nuke and Inferno are big maps as part of that conversation. So this is a great start for FaZe here and looking good to convert the third. You've got a couple of pesky little purchases for Shush and Katie in here. Might want to make the crowd get on their uh, feet, make a bit of noise. Chad, I assume we don't do the noise in this environment. No, no, no. A little bit more serious now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this one not going to be too easy for Heroic. Here comes the potential. Oh, he lets it go. He lets it go. An opportunity for Katie, and it was a bit of captain on captain action. Two highly prolific leaders from Denmark here in Paris. And this superstar squad of FaZe have gotten a dream start down though. With just the pistol, just that P250 does to put one in the dirt. Oh, easy there. Yeah, take your time. There you go. Twist will finish it off. And that is going to be a 3-0 clean sweep for FaZe. Now we're going to get into the gun rounds here. And what type of tone is Heroic going to set? And AWP is available for Cadian. Has managed his pennies well. Maybe looking at Tessa's holding ramp. 
Yabby over towards that top site with Shush. And there's the miss on the Zeus. Uh, Stan's going to be your most flexible rifler towards Yard. He'll be combining with Cadian here. So that's how the CT defense is going to shape up for the Danes. And Cadian's warping form. He's been on one, hasn't he? He's been, uh, yeah, yeah, getting better and better. Yeah. Uh, I'd like fine wine. Ten years of this for Cadian. And I think this is the best Counter-Strike he's been playing, at least in recent history. The orb down towards B immediately. So he's going to pop his head up secret there, hoping that FaZe take their time on a bit more of a default sprawl. And Molly's back. Harassment towards this top side. Oh, Yabby oh. burning down now. Has to get out of dodge and barely survives. Oh Walk my lord. Murdered. Look how dangerous this is. Wallbanks. You've got Molly's and you've got three HP. Yeah, this is uh, FaZe taking a page out of Furious Strap up right that top harass. And uh, well, Cadian's AWP, we can see it posted here. Doesn't go on for anything too aggressive just yet. As the smoke wall looks like the standard L block being lined up, and well, here he comes. Have to find an opener for the team. Cadian was hoping for, perhaps. He's managed to get a good timing on his advance. Carrigan creeping and a crawling. Will Cadian catch anything on his first look? Oh, nothing but a bullet right into his head. Rain makes him dead. Now they're pushing Tess. That's good damage. Great damage onto Twist and Brokey. Not in a rush. Not in a hurry. The attacking side has the man advantage and nearly two. Yabby, don't forget all that damage dealt as Carrigan. Oh no, wasn't ready for Yabby, still occupying the heavens. And ops to drop down now. Rops has ramp, makes it clear, spotted out by Tessess. Lot of presence here for the CTs. In secret, Rain falls down, avenges Cadian's death. And now an advantage for this defense with 20 seconds. It needs Rops, it needs someone. Great damage. More from Tessess as he does it all. Just to finally the final frags and that'll do nicely. That's a really nice round for Heroic to win. A really nice round indeed. They lose Cadian in the opening exchange with Rain. You gotta be keeping your eyes on the opening frags here for the CT side of Nuke. That is uh, gonna be four rounds, still no opener, but a round conversion. So Cadian is gonna be feeling good about that, but uh, Yabby yeah, mopping up the mess on that low HP. So still able to profit something considering how Badly, he was harassed in the early stages, and it's a great sign for Shush to get a multi-kill early on. He's one of the rocks of this team, somebody you need to look towards when the chips are down. There's enough money for FaZe for yet another buy here, so this time AKs are plenty. No big green on either side of the server, and more bodies towards Yarge with some quickness about it. Look at the change of pace here. Yeah, they're looking for confrontation. Looking for some friction. And the smokes will combine. Erect the wall. Good position for Cadian here if he's not flashed. He's not. Carrigan caught looking the other way. It's an immediate trade. Norwegian keeps it level. Peeking over the flame as well. They're going to drop back. Look, the bomb. They've been able to get rain into this warehouse, which is going to be a focus here of Heroic. Looks down investigating. Tessus has come over as well. So there's massive gaps. They really just want to deal with rain, but they need to get a move on. They need to be quicker about how they clear this out. And Stown. Ooh, Stown. This is the fight right here. Is going to Huge. Exchange onto rain. Short. Sure. And now scratching their head are the international side. How squeaky they come. Yeah, we've got some ground from Robs. Nate doesn't do too much. A little light tickle. As the one-way dropped in the heavens. Down could peek around. It's good timing for it as they enter into the site. Shush distracts. Tags. Abby trying to find a gap. And he has. He spots one. Bomb spotted. Twist spotted. Hut as well. They're coming in every angle. Oh, oh but the double headshot. It's more from Twist as well. All of those headhunters hit. Three in the feed from FaZe. Shush doesn't have the health for this. It's FaZe return to their winning ways. Momentary success for Heroic. All right, all right. Capitalizing right there, FaZe. They were down in the dumps. They lost Rain. They lost Carrigan in the early stages. The response time of Heroic, it was something that I was praising right there. They dealt with Rain. They, they went and isolated him in towards that garage position but check this out just able to hit some bangers here so the end it's another grand final you're speaking of carrigan outside he feels like he's already played a bunch yeah. in the road just to the arena here and now this is where the game changes we talk about experience we talk about players in environments like this we'll face have some of the very best as i can we'll talk a little bit of chip damage just these pesky pistols you don't want to be giving an awful lot away off your phase but i think here for heroic if some of their individuals can get a cheeky kill or two just to start inspiring a bit of confidence in their crosshairs yeah, I always see that Deagle purchase as a statement of intent. Can't say the same for Tess on that USP, trying to be a probe, and well, that's a Deagle headshot. Crowd likes that one. Unlikely to translate into anything more. They've got the bomb down towards the secret stairs. Shush would have to operate down the vent. They have got access to ramp for the defense. 
this shouldn't cause them too many dramas here. Oh, but Stown, if he gets that timing right, that sound cue is so loud, though. He's just hoping for the element of surprise here, hoping he can punish anyone that comes a knock in. This would have to be nuclear from Stown. It feels impossible. Oh, for sure. But Faye's not rushing this. They're using every second given to them. Shush a mile away. That's the door open, and that's the bomb down. And AK, ooh, does not find its way into these final 20 seconds. Shut down now. And that was a disruptive attempt. Shush caught out and a fifth. One of the keys in just rounds like that is FaZe covering all their bases and not taking uh, too much time, right? They're, they're sitting there waiting, they're allowing the pushes to come through, nobody's looking panicked. Then once they get the fight, they go in together. So uh, good stuff from FaZe here. When they hit that pause, they understand that Heroica are a very active team. They want to set the tone early, but they'll keep moving in towards those mid rounds. And we already have a good example of that from only a couple of rounds ago. So the buy back, Heroic. We'll prioritize this AWP for KDM once more, but you can't go down without an opening kill here. You need to find an exchange in your favor. Currently, blank in that department on the gun round. Ooh, yeah. Covering their bases off the start. It's down. I like this position. You can see over the smoke and call out. Should there be anything aggressive, Yard. KDM this time responsible for that ramp side. Tessus is going to try exactly what Kadian did, this time without the AWP here, so... Need to see him push the issue. Another defensive smoke. This one is going to hold Rain at bay, not allow him to scale as quickly as he'd like. You think? Yeah, well, you can see the one way. That goes both ways. He sets up first, but look at all these bodies. Two on top of HUD. Okay, it's down. Hearing that from main. The redeploy. Rops will have to wait as Carrigan mobs out a smoke of his own design. Carrigan talking in interviews about losing sleep, thinking about new ways to approach the game. I'm sure we're going to be seeing them throughout this game. Kadian, about to be tested here. Can he step up when called upon? Oh, yes, he can! A two-for-one special! Served up hot and ready in Paris. Well, that will leave your ears ringing. Yeah, that might be one way just to get the round done here. Carrigan's still going to investigate, but you can just see the positioning available. Shush should rain down Hellfire from above if Carrigan wants to step over that line in the sand. Saving an option available here as well. You can get drops from Rops and Carrigan into the next, and they will call it off here. So, Adian's double. That's going to secure the second round right now for Heroic. And that was a good job right there because you saw what Util faced throughout. They wanted to force the ramp rotator again. They're throwing a locker smoke as well as a main smoke, which means you normally want to scale around towards heaven. You want to go yard to warehouse, around to heaven, but uh, they didn't force that ramp rotations. Kadian's AWP there in the replay, and that's put a smile on his face. That's a bit of a gift right there, but you can see not over-celebrating the moment. I understand yeah. this is them just getting started. I mean, this guy, uh, he does have his heart on his sleeve. We saw him break a headset, like round seven of the legend stage. And so far, a pretty spotless run from Heroic to get to this point in the Champions. Yeah, they've done it the easy way, right? Uh, the two best of ones and then a best of three dropping a map, sure, but you couldn't get here much cleaner. They can break phase here, Heroic, if they are able to combine consecutive rounds. A different smoke wall, as you can see, Brokey just chilling in spawn. He's got a couple of those at his feet to lob out. You can see the change of the setup. This cloak and dagger game of so Counter-Strike. So towards Ooh, Yard, and that's gap. a massive gap. But Stan will be able to investigate that, but it's going to be the fight towards Ramp again. Yeah, he's re-aggressing. He's actually thinking about bringing the fight to them, both of them. Oh, and caught out his twists. No immediate reaction. On notice, Yabby, a third, adds into the mix, and Rops was caught out, but a mess of that one. Yabby makes. And they'll pull the plug. They'll pull the ripcord and get out of there. Well, they know nobody crossed Yard, but Stan has no idea if there was a lurker, so he has to still worry about that position. You can see him investigating as he does. Harrigan's actually making his way late. 50 seconds on the clock. Three members of FaZe still turtled up here. Harrigan could be the difference maker. Can he find the gap? Stan currently guarding exactly that position. It's all going to come down to timing. Managing his angles well. Oh, Stan. Uh, he still catches out Carrigan. Advantage then for Heroic into this final commitment. 
broke it. Oh, oh, clean headshot onto Tessa. Shush has to do more. They're coming for him. He knows it. And he still handles business. All three. No way in. And Faye's broken. This will close that gap. Really solid stuff from Shush again. Another multi-kill for him. Tidy work when they come his way. He's able to pick him up with ease here. Yabby with a bit of a mare on this one. He has to not get in his head about that one, yeah, right? Yeah, you can see the frustration from early Yabby days. there. And it's it is, early days. it is, it is. And they've been in plenty of playoffs, plenty of finals in recent history, that's for sure. Controlling those nerves, definitely part of the package. But the hard work was done, regardless. Team game, team effort, and that's exactly what Heroic lived by. Doesn't matter that Yabby makes a mare there. They still convert that round, and we do see FaZe onto pistols. But you need to know what the game plan has been from the conditioning of Carrigan so far. He wants to fake yard and try and do a lot of lobby and ramp plays here, it seems. And uh, Heroic seemed to have found the solution to that so far. Oh, and there's more damage from Tess. Bullets, shrapnel, all now lodged into phase. He's taken down twists. Carrigan has slipped down the vents. Yeah, that could be a bit of a problem here. How aware are they of this possibility? Uh -oh, uh, uh, not oh. at all. Spaghetti! Okay, oh, down. Just a sixth sense about that one. And Carrigan loses his opportunity. That could have led to a plant. And that might lead to a bit of a biff here. Hell's side, a jump pass. Cadian swings in, and so does Shush. One more to find, just the bomb. And well, they have a good idea. He's gotten past the Glock, gives it away. And ooh, messy one there, but all five staying alive. Bolstering the finances here are Heroic and making it just a one-round game. Yeah, these last three rounds have done wonders for Heroic's both confidence and... Let's find out. Robs, he does like to throw a spot of aggression into the mix. The desk disgust. Feels like this is going to be a top pop. It's a late go. They're trying to isolate Shush here back inside. He's got the perfect position. Can he get more? Can he get away? Hoping for help. And Yabi provides oh, it. Three. Oh. Shut down. Silenced. This could be another spotless round for the defense, Chad. Yeah, the confidence really starting to get out of control here for Heroic in these last couple. Oh, wow. You know, when you saw Shush, you felt like he was in jeopardy. Yabi just jumps into action and defends his teammate. Yeah, couldn't be in a better position though, right? You see these teams, it's a bit of a cat and mouse game. Do you play on top of the side? Then you can get nade stacked to the back of the side, mollied and naded as well. It's all about trying to pick the position that the CT is going to play and then harass him and use that against him in the later game. So Shush getting away with it this time. But Yabi with a massive three piece, and that's going to feel great after he had that little right. miss in towards lobby. So immediately reaffirming to himself that he can hit those shots and Brokey. Be too long for this goal. We've got Yabby to finish him. And that will be four in the round. So another half by available for FaZe here. Lost bonus maxed on out now. So half by into a gun round. And that's where we get to see if they want to start prioritizing Brokey's AWP to change out the game plan here. He just tried a late top. So now that you have this uh, lighter purchase, you're going to have the user. You're going to have the smokes, the mollies, the flashes. Do you want to try and go top again? Do you want to go with a little bit more quickness straight out the gates? Do you want to continue the conditioning? Is it still part of Carrigan's patterns? What's the approach looking like here as... Come over towards lobby. It's been key blown off. Very standard opening exchange here. And Hadian down the vent once more. Doesn't want to give them the gap. Trying to get cheeky with it. He's looking for that highlight, isn't he? They're coming top again. Yeah, and already Yabi spray. It seems destined for glory. A double and more to down be the found. Come on, They're down. coming. They're thinking about it. But held at bay, Kadian, hey! he does charge in. <laughs> They've got a bloodlust about them now. When was the last death these guys Dude, had? I'll tell you. Four rounds ago. I mean, in the last five rounds, they've had two deaths. Yeah, so starting to look spotless now for Heroic. Bit of a shutout. Oh, yeah. Only a one round lead, however. So this is where we get into the breaking point. If Heroic can continue this, clean sweep, 10-5 half, that would be great going into the second half of play, especially on FaZe's map pick. And we've got to remind that head-to-head. -head. These guys have already played throughout the Legend stage in a best of one. And well, Heroic wiped the floor with them. Mince me. 16 to seven on Inferno. Yeah, they styled on him there. Look at this aggressive U2. It's just containing any moves Rain wants to make, but there's a lot more pressure towards Yard. Twists up and on the silo. Plenty of bodies on the lower side. No AWP, so clearly not part of the game plan here for FaZe. This nade could be perfect. Kadian, when do you release this? Waiting for the flash. Bang. And just like that, an extra 50 damage for FaZe to stomach. 
This one's going to settle in. You can see them really taking a bit of tempo out of this now. Understandably, we just discussed Heroic have been on the upswing here. But we heard from Carrigan that comeback versus Na'Vi, that Anubis game we won't forget in a hurry. Showed to oh, them. Just, the smoke's going to fade here. Well, they've had to extinguish. They had to. Ex that was a really well-timed incendiary there from Cadian. They had to extinguish, so they've just burnt a smoke to get down secret. And he's already on the move. He's already on the he's move. Not alone either. Yeah, Shush has got Rops locked, trying to walk out ramp late. Forty-eight and counting. The setup seems perfect to receive what Fagers are throwing their way. A man disadvantage. Will one of these superstars step up? Look at the time, though, and look where the bomb is. I, I don't know how you win this round. They can't find it, in the sense that you've got two down low, two up high. And Rain goes looking, gets nothing but hot lead, and more from sound in that warehouse. Shuts down. Two, only twists. Ten seconds. He does everything he can, but six in a row. Heroic ablaze. On the pick from FaZe. Two HEs, I'm sure one of those destined for Squeaky. They've already tried top a few times and it hasn't really paid off. One of the many jewels in Heroic's crown is their communication. Oh, we've seen this one before. Can they keep track? A twist jumps straight on in, put on his back. Stout gets him down and another one is from him as well. Everything FaZe throw here, nothing sticks. Down the vent. And one out hurt, doesn't find the frag he so desperately looked for. It's the wall bang from Stown, makes it his third in this one. Yeah, and they know that Rain got down that vent, so the fact he is away from things. Yeah, he's held. Look at this. Look how many bodies are in the right place. And Kadian will add his name into that kill feed. Eight. That is a one out half already. Impressive stuff. Max money. They haven't died enough. They've got too much cash. Treat yourselves. Grab a pistol. It's going to be feeling real good right now. And again, a return to that conversation, not picking uh, Nuke, uh, against, yeah. uh, Nuke against Liquid, right? And going into Mirage, losing that map. I thought that it was a sign of weakness because the last time Heroica played this map was in Rio and they lost it to Big. Right. So, you know, you think maybe they're not ready for this, but this is the Major. Looks like they put in some time. It's not just a meme, is it? Saving strats for the Major. Again, more direct towards Lobby. Don't want to condition towards Yard here. Trying to make some space. Smoke Splash is coming through. This is a very recoverable half. And it's aggression from Robs to give FaZe a foothold into this one. Needed more out of Brokey. Yeah, what just happened? Dead. They collapse. An opening kill and then four in response. Rain shaking his head. What am I supposed to do with this? A ninth for Heroic's defense seems imminent. Kadian going hunting. Eye on the scope and rain falls. What a run from Heroic all the way to that halftime. Yeah, and again, we just have no plant, hardly any kills. Sure, max loss bonus. There's going to be enough here for some Galil, some AKs. But essentially, if you're Heroic, you are feeling really, really good about this because you lost the pistol. You lost the conversions. Your force was nothing. You were the ones getting blanked in the early stages, and you've completely changed the discourse right now. This could not be easier for them in this stretch of rounds. They've handled everything that have come their way. None of these rounds have been even close. The face says it all, yeah. Questions will be asked of how competitive the second half will be. Heroic looking like a different beast right now. And Stown is here. Take notes. That superstar at 16 to 7 up against FaZe Clan here. And he could be racking up a couple more. Thinks better of hanging around upon the fade. He's got Cadian to count upon. It's just, again, in terms of space, they can throw their smoke wall. That's all good. They've been able to get a little bit of room, but in terms of the economy of utility, like how good Heroic are holding onto it and using it at the perfect times. Still have a couple of little booby traps available, some smokes, some mollies, some flashes left over as it gets juggled around. And now at a minute 10, they start to make their move. They hear the shot. Oh, I noted. And through the smoke, a full spray of the magazine and they know it's rain right it's rain gone he's the spearhead of any moves they want to make towards yard so you get a sneaking suspicion it might just be over towards lobby and that would be the right call heroic they really do have their finger on the pulse of everything whirring into action for phase one step ahead springs to mind it's down though he was yard and now he's wrapped he is deadly 
Another double. That's mad, a triple in total. Is it recoverable for Carrigan and Brokey? He's everywhere right now with Stown. Just How do you get past this? For the finish, Kadian takes his time, drops the bomb, and finishes with a bang. Mane in a good scoreline at all. Are you still with us, Akor Arena? Merci Boku. All right, all right. Let's see if we can exchange pistols here. Heroic again, ready for this explode. So make their way into lobby, set up their U2. We all know where that is destined for. HE at the ready. The most abused door in video games. And it twists. Up in the rafters. <laughs> Only for a moment. Heroic are untouchable. Carrigan gives it a go, but it's Stown's moment in the sunshine. He's got 22 frags, Chad. Oh, and make it 23. He has come in with a purpose. Be it divine. And Tess just looking to put one in his spine. <laughs> Denied. But the message is sent all the same. Yeah, that one. Rain, have to know now. They're coming for you. He wants to take the shots. They've given Stown the ace. And his ascension is now. The question with Heroic, who's the star? Who's the top dog? I'll tell you who it is. It's Stown. He has chosen the perfect time to really come online for Heroic here. Look at this, straight out the heart like a speed demon. Twist goes down and he just flatlines every single phase member. This is the Stown we hear about. This is the Stown we, we dream about, especially Kadian. This is a player everyone wants on your team. And you talk about the absence of frags from phase. Well, add them all up. I think Stown's pretty much ne neck and neck. Well, this year it changes how Kadian can approach the game. If you can have some trust in your right hand, man. You call around him now. You can let him oh, off the yeah. leash. Look it, at just, this. it opens up a whole new <laughs> avenue available to him. Who gets the big gun this round? The rest of them. You know how mobile they like to be. They'll have a wave of utility towards that top side. Should shout hard. Harry can get something done, but everybody's starting to fall apart. The Mac 10s moving head oh. after head. And oh. We've seen this one before. We certainly have, and the 5-7 does great work. Brokey in the clutch. Don't count him out. What is that from Yabby? One deagle, one bullet. And another round for Heroic. This is quite the run now, Chad. I mean, FaZe, they probably spent that two minutes talking about pistol, talking about a strong defense. They don't even get to try with guns until, what, 13? Yeah, this is where uh, a bit of a sinking feeling here for FaZe, but... Oh, look Bang. at this. He's changing the deagle and a banger out of Yavi. Stylish counter-strike. Even Robban's impressed. Yeah, nice shot on that one. But this is uh, where it's a, a big issue for FaZe, but an issue that they've overcome time and time again. How many times have they had their back against the wall? Yeah. How many times have they been one round away from elimination? Yeah. Even in the previous stage of the competition and players like Rain, they don't give up easy. He's taken down Kadian with a scorching deagle headshot of his own. Yeah, this one can get out of control. Nice angle from Stown. Nade might chase him down. A little bit more damage done as Rain does back off. Okay, he needs the puppet master here, which is perfect for him. Doesn't need to worry about the uh, mouse and keyboard right now. Just clicking through the players, making sure they're going to go for the finish he's hoping for. Now, one of the advantages here available for Heroic is their utility. A couple of smokes left over. So if they wanted to, yeah, try and cotton off an area of the map, that would be perfect. A smoke in towards main. Carrigan's contributions will be limited. And a bit of a gamble has been called out of Carrigan here. We can see where the lion's share of the CTs reside. They need to make a dent elsewhere. Mr. Finn Anderson, he smoked off again. He must know the attack's coming now. Springs into action, or does he? Yeah. Tried to catch it. No timing available. But there are bodies. So they, clear this this. Now. they do need to. It's Tessus to round the corner first. And with great precision. And in unison, Yabby and Stout lock it down. Bomb will go down. Oh, look out. Or not. Yeah, well, he's been very diligent, right? This is the thing. They're really laser focused on looking for those headshots, making sure that nobody from FaZe can push the issue here, but it's Rops. Mr. Diligent himself, I think he goes by. So gonna take his time here just with this 5-7. Some more damage and AK to be picked up. Any of that would be a nice little bonus for him going into the first gun round. But this is just a remarkable run here from Heroic. It, right? You come into this, we know we've got their map choice of overpass next. Flawless to close out the half. Nine consecutive rounds. You come in here with another three. So we're talking 12 on the trot in terms of the amount of damage done. What did I say? Five in that nine-round spread. Well, they've only managed 
Well, another seven in the second half of that, and they're on the CT side, whereas Heroic have to come to them by they're, virtue of the game. Huh? Yeah, they're giving Faith nothing. Very short-lived celebrations for those Antwerp champions. Feels like an age since that trophy lift for FaZe and Heroic. They've been chasing this one. Cadian making it clear, no one will be able to deny you won the last, a motivating factor for him to get these boys online at the same time. I think right now Cadian's about to go for a bit of an uppercut here. Uh, he's invested, he had so much cash money as there it is, Yabby taking down Rops the final foray for him. But check out the purchase here from Cadian. He's gonna be starting this round. He's gonna be starting this round with a MAC-10. He might be looking to do exactly that to face. Yeah, I think they have been. Gluttons for punishment in the crowd and in the server. Pressure towards ramp here. Lining up Yutu. Going to be a pop and go. Will there be even just a glimmer of hope in this map pick? Rops tested. Look at the flash. Oh, they jumped straight over him. He had nothing but a white screen and a loss ramp. They are already down. What a face supposed to do. The smokes will be there. That might be one for the Mahone zone right there. Yeah, that right. thing was beautiful. Just avoiding the rotation of Brokey's AWP coming in towards elbow. Wow. They're going to come for this, though, FaZe. Running out of opportunity, he's going to give this one a crack. Man down. This has to be perfect from FaZe. Heroic, primed and ready. Damage from Shush. Dips away. Smokes are back in response from the CTs. Trying to forge a path. Team Flash, Shush too. And that bomb is ticking. And the bodies are dropping. Only one for FaZe to celebrate. It's not enough. We need more. Brokey, only the one. And it's Yabby to close. This is heroic at their best. On the big stage. And Yabby and Stown at the top of the scoreboard. That is signs of life from their stars. Look at this. Look how blind he was. Look at all the time in the world to take down Robs. Look at his screen. White. And then fades to black. But this is the details. They've obviously prepped and ready for this map. Heroic. I think they're expecting Nuke to be picked right here because they have intentionally isolated Rops. That play is to isolate Rops. Right, to isolate the tendencies of FaZe with the rotations in. This game is done, 14 to five. You've got to go for a half by. You've got nothing to work with here. Heroic, this is going to be some close. They are dismantling FaZe on their pick. This is something to behold. The different elevations of Counter-Strike. As Heroic have struck. I don't even know what you're meant to do if you phase. You, you haven't even got started. You had a good start to the game. You win the pistol, the conversion, see how fired up they were getting. That feels like an age away now, Chad. This isn't the same game. This has been turned on his head. Heroic are just brutalizing them right now. Absolutely mauling them. There's nothing that FaZe can do. They're getting ragdolled. Sure, put up a bit of resistance with these pistols. You need a miraculous round, some miraculous shots out of Brokey here. What do you got, Brokey? Crouched into. Carrigan does deliver. An impactful pair of frags on the MP9. But notice when this has come in, there's still plenty of time to work with, and they have real estate. FaZe, on their Ooh. T side, they couldn't get the space. And when they did, it didn't matter. Very quick to evacuate. Yeah, and rifles to be picked up, so Rain, well advised here, has found himself something to work with. This is info, right? This is a lot of info from Rain. Yeah, you can see he has to probably clear off towards Heaven and Hell as well, just in case, but aware that they have dipped on back to lobby for sure now, and that confirmation will echo into the headsets of Twist and Rops, who are both posted and at the ready, but a risk has to be taken. You have a weapon disadvantage, but right now the time is your biggest ally. With smoke, very helpful, but Yabby's gonna disrespect it and gets punished for it. Twist, an important kill, handled with help from Rops. And Cadian, known to do some damage in the clutch, this time denied, it's Reigns round. And FaZe are on the board for their CT side. Yeah, it's no doubt who the uh, fan favorites are right here today in the arena. You can see there's some celebrations over what almost could be a nothing round unless a come. Wanting to have the full bags of util. I see that is more than part and parcel of Heroic's approach here. Top heart valley deployed. Standard openings from both teams here, but this ought from Brokey, could this be a dialogue changer? Ain't now the question. We need to see rounds. Oh, yeah, Bowles spotted. Brokey has the info. An assistance arrives. Nade, chip damage. Unconfirmed, but nades do rain out. And his twists onto Yabby, promising for FaZe. Caught him out on that uh, fight squeak. 
Three smokes set. Ooh, good damage from twists. Promising for FaZe. They have to convert. This is a good timing on this push. Yes, yes, just on his clears as well. They throw Util into the top side. Brokey now trapped. And caught out was Tessess. Close quarters. Combat orping. Brokey. Straight face. Oh, wow. Straight laced. And straight shooting. That's what you want to see from Brokey. Getting in the thick of things where he does his absolute best work. Explosive orper with the ramp push, locks him down, called out of position on the quick change. You think he's done, you think he's dusted. And then he does this, Tessas. Bang! A face full of lead and Brokey just keeps unloading. That's gonna feel good. This the part of another phase comeback story. Writing plenty of novels this time round. They prove to themselves that they can do it when it really matters against Na'Vi. Well, it really matters now. This is your pick and you're down in the dumps. This has to be a clean conversion of round 22. Nothing but a P250 or two. Running into Rops, assisted by Rain. And they're looking to bring the pain, a double. Kadian actually does shut down Rops, but Rain should have the rest. Kadian gonna do his best with six HP and four to find. It's the nade to secure it. People have spoken! A couple of confidence builders here, but look at that. Kadian still has a smile on his face. You can cheer, you can celebrate, but Heroic just need two more rounds and... Well, they have taken a full eco to afford a buy here, but look at this from FaZe. I think a little bit out of the uh, back pages of the strap book, the double orbs, Rops with one, Brokey, of course, Ooh. with the other. Well, they're planning for some longevity. Yeah, maybe Ross feels like he's been targeted a little bit here, so wants to bring out this orb. But, uh, he's actually going to start down to B, so Rops has foregone ramp completely. Let's make a little note for future rounds as well. Kadian has only bought in here with a Tech-9. He wants to save money for an orb. Maybe he can steal one. Actually, Karakin's the one to draw first blood, and he burns to a cinder. Tessus builds upon it. Rain keeps it level. Is he ready for more, though? Down through the smoke. Coming for you, takes him down. Mr. Nygaard caught off guard oh. and it's broken back. This is constant trading. Wall Street oh. all oh, over no. Cedar Creek. As here comes one. Shush versus Brokey. Looking to silence the crowd once more. Yeah, two big thinkers right here. And Brokey wants to take the fight. He's been hitting some bangers. He gave a chance for FaZe just a round before. Shush, remain silent. Appropriate. Bomb on his back. Lobby occupied, but now the sound is heard. Brokey has the info, but Shush has the plant. Is he ready? Oh, I think he saw it. Oh! Injects more confidence into the veins of FaZe. That was necessary. What a round that was, Chad. Back, fourth, pendulum swinging into a one-on-one -on -one and Brokey holds on. Yeah, he's the guy who stepped up as well when it was looking done versus Na'Vi. Anubis, oh, Ooh. that Bacadian. The goosh and he could not connect a second bullet. The Tech Nine's good, just not good enough. Oh, they're starting to believe now, Chadney. You gotta love a Russell Van Dolken pop off. He saves them for special occasions. And he's feeling himself right now, the team. Holding on. Next attempt from Heroic's attack. Oh, oh aggressive. my Real God, aggressive I told here. you, he's feeling himself. Yeah, he's not alone, has this orb. Overwatch here from Brokey. Dropped off. Just facilitating twist. Is that enough bait? There's no yeah, way. It is. There's no way he's ready. Yabby dead. Carrigan another. Tessa desperate. Charging into Carrigan. And the leader will take two. Rain right alongside for the ride. And this one is all done. This round will fall to FaZe. All right. Starting to work on a bag of their own. Five consecutive right here for FaZe Clan. Double digits now. You know, the pistol, the conversions. 
Didn't feel like enough, especially with how the tail end of that first half went. Just destruction from Heroic, but now starting to serve up a dish of their own. Taste of their own medicine a little. Yeah, it's, look, not the same level of shutouts. We've had some closer rounds here from Heroic's T sides, but the rounds are getting away from them nonetheless. Yeah, but what I meant by that was that aggression. Seeing Twist so quick and catching Yabby off guard. Look what it's done to Heroic. That extra cash from Kadian. And Kalashnikov Twist. And a Molotov cocktail. Drops right in down. He might get caught off yeah. guard here. Ooh, he, they heard that glass break. They know it's occupied, but they're already down. This vent dive could go wrong, but Rops trying to hold on. Great headshot. Tech Knight fail. Rops does not. He was supposed to be the pièce de résistance. Just at the end, Mr. Cadian. But now he's got no teammates left. And he falls to his leader or rival leader at that. A perfect round. All right, well, this is going to be timeout number three from Heroic. So some good calling necessary here from Heroic if they want to get this one closed and take it to their map choice of overpass coming up next. Those orbs are working. It is great that they continually chop and change between having those two purchases of patterns. It keeps Heroic guessing. They have no idea. Is it double orbs? Is it single? Well, that makes it harder to call around Whoa, here. It's short. What? A freebie. Spam straight through the hut. Twist will go down. What year is it? Yeah, we saw Twist trying to harass topside in that first half. Oh, and this is necessary right now. Rain boosted up here. Has to fortify this position on his own. It will allow the AWPs of Rops and Brokey to work. Yeah, that's a casualty that FaZe will struggle to stomach. Rain's in a good position here. Can he post the double? Tessa, shush. They hold on to it. And a missed shot from Brokey. He holds on in the flames. Flash will deter. Forced to reposition. If you got down, parked, and pressurizing the top of heaven, as the rest of his team descend into the low side. Great catch from Robs. It's down, cut down. And a whole lot more for FaZe to find here. Smoke available, kits are plenty. It's about bloodshed now. Kane burning. burning a lot of damage. They could finish him if they chase him. Oh. And a great one back. Long range headshot from Tessus. Looking a little lost is Rops in that smoke, and it looks like 15 is on its way for Heroic. Starting with that shush wall bang, and they run with it. Yeah, you gotta close if you're gonna find an opening like that. Miraculous stuff there, and that is gonna be it. Heroic, 15 found. Okay, face. That was quite the run. Six on the trot, and then one back. They've seen the 15-11 scoreline before. But it has to be perfect. It has to be perfect if FaZe want to see OT on their map pick. This is how it began. What a gift. Yeah, such a frustrating death there for Twist as well. Big shot here from Tessus. Wow. Denies the retake, and then they just have to lock them down towards the double door. So great work there from Heroic once they had that lower sight control. But FaZe, can you continue to make believers out of us? Again, the stubbornness with the double orbs. You can see it also makes things a little bit more awkward. But this is trying to finish it towards top. More spam. Karrion gets the opener this time. But Yabi in a quick Nade response. The nade might do it. And Kaden's already connected. The nade does. All onto twists. And he's coming. Fighting forward. An offensive defense. And he catches out Yabi. Ooh, he was spotted or not. Kaden goes looking. Good headshot out of rain. Ian. He's pulled off a round or two in his time. And he will get the chance to get that bomb down. Two to find. To close. He thrives in moments like this. All eyes on him. Advancing. Looking to catch a timing. And it's not to be. Rops closes it up. And we go again. That one. Definitely had the chance to get out of control. It's Mr. Clutch right there, Kadian. No, to pull off one or two. I think he needs to make it a one on four or a one on five. Yeah, he uh, really wants to pull out a special here. A one on two. Maybe not what he's getting out of bed for here, but good harassment towards the top side. But this is a heads up move from Twist. You have to really accredit Rain here. Finds his way up towards the heavens and raining down damage towards that 
onslaught towards the top side. Now it's just a three-round game. Three rounds away from FaZe taking us to OT here. But Heroic with another plant. And with some decent cash to splash to keep this one at least as close as you like. Is this the type of buy where they finish it? Squeaky blown off once more. Pressure being felt. Carrigan's aware of what he faces. You can see from the nade and position. Intent on stopping anything early, and it's brilliant from Carrigan. He ran out of bullets. And Yabi, he does take him down. But look at this from Rops. He charges forward, loses the rifle. Stown and Cadian, quite the partnership. Years they've played side by side. Can they overcome the number? Disadvantage. There's a lot of time for them to work here, Chad. Topside's not very fortified. Twist here on a timing, that is key. Twist could ruin the day right here. One is enough. Ooh, ooh, spotted out. Doesn't choose to commit to the engagement, but Stown is coming and gunning for him. Spotted now. Broke, he should have them. Face looking for another. It's only Cadian. Already two in his pocket and two more required. But look at this, they're stalking him. Rain's coming as well. Brokey spotted. Surely he's seen him now. And that's an easy finish. Rain says play on. Faze say play on. A 10-5 half laid down by Heroic and now looking to respond in kind. I know that was a dangerous looking buy, but that was only a half buy from Heroic there. This would be a full buy. Mac 10s and 2AK short. This is all the goodies. This is Cadian bringing out his AWP. This is AKs for everybody. This is full util across the board. Last this is the out. time for Heroic to get things done. In the final round!